Well, here I have an old computer. Uh, friends of mine got some new computers and just wanted me to take care of their old ones, make sure all the data and stuff was deleted off them. Uh, not the oldest machine in the world. Can still play some video pretty decently. Um, I am currently, right now, running Linux Mint uh, Maya, which I think is Linux Mint 13, I want to say. It's the most current version of Linux Mint. Um, Probably not the best option for this old machine. Uh, it's got less than a gig of RAM. It's got a Pentium 4 processor. Uh, originally came with Windows XP on it. Uh, and currently I am running uh, Linux Mint off a flash drive, which you can see sticking out the back right here. Uh, this computer doesn't even have built-in uh, Wi-Fi. You can see that I have a card on the side here that they gave me when they gave me the computer. Um, so uh, pretty much everything worked out of the box. Uh, but I did have one little issue, uh, and I'll show you that now. Let me restart this machine. Um, shut down. Restart. Uh, as I said, I was booting it right now off a USB flash drive. I could boot it off a CD, but CDs tend to be really slow. Um, but if I go into my boot options in the BIOS here, and zoom in so you can read this, my boot options are CD-ROM drive, floppy drive, hard drive, or a network boot. Um, so, how did I boot off USB flash drive? There are a lot of options out there for doing this, different little uh, distros, floppy disk stuff. Um, you can actually uh, probably create your own with, um, with Grub too. Um, but, I wanted to show you today a nifty little distro uh, called Plop Linux, which is... Uh, a distribution of Linux. It actually is Linux, but it has some boot options that allows you to boot from other devices. So let me go ahead and pop this in. And as you can see on the screen right now, my uh, default boot device, if a CD is available, it will boot from the CD. So let me exit out of here and reboot. And focus a little bit here. And in a second here, once the CD spins up, once again, CDs are slow, which is why we want to boot from a USB flash drive. I get this nice little menu here. Uh, first option, just to boot into Plop Linux. Um, but if I come down here, I have a boot manager, and uh, then I also have um, a boot, uh, Plop boot manager installer. I haven't messed with that, but I guess you can install that to the system so I don't have to boot off the CD every time. Once again, I have not tried that. Uh, but we also have this Plop K uh, EXE C boot manager, which is what I've been using. I hit enter on that and it runs a little script that searches and there we go. It found my USB flash drive and all the boot options on it. So any external drives you have on this thing you want to boot from, just go into here. I have my Linux Mint options that would be my normal options if I was booting off the flash drive. And I go ahead and hit enter and it will start booting into Linux Mint. So once again, this is Plop Linux. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. It is just a nifty little tool to have in your bag of tools in case of emergencies uh, that you need to uh, boot from USB on an old machine. Or like I said, it has a lot of different bootloader options. So it's just kind of, think of it. Uh, the way I think of it is like an advanced portable bootloader, um, but also has a Linux uh, distro built into it. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Once again, it's not the only way, but it's a nice, convenient, easy way that's ready to go. So thanks for watching. Visit filmswitechris.com. That's Chris with a K. Have a great day. I hope you guys appreciate the fact there's a hurricane on its way to my house right now and I still stopped and took the time to make this video for you. Sorry it wasn't the best of quality. I hate filming computers with cameras, but it was the best way to show you what I wanted to show you today with Plop Linux. Um, if you do appreciate me making this film, check out my web website, filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K. Link in the description. Also think about checking me out on Facebook. Uh, should be a link to that in the description as well. You can also see my Twitter feed on my website. I, uh, once again, thank you for watching, uh, and I hope that you have a great day.